Okay, so this is the fourth installment of Humvee Parts Unboxing. And here we go. I'll start off with this one. Ah. Man, I honestly don't even know what I bought through here that could have been at Walmart. Maybe this is not even anything Humvee related. That'd be a little funny. But I think that's all I've been ordering lately. Oh, okay. So the guy just put it in a um, in a Walmart box. Alright. So this is something that I just saw it on eBay and I'm like, oh, this will be perfect. So this is a legit military um, cargo net. It's like 11 by nine or something like that. Yeah, this thing is pretty heavy duty. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of has a normal thing and then it kind of has this here. Oh, I see. So like this, this is just the normal top of the net and then these going down the sides. This is what's gonna latch on to the, uh, the catches on the Humvee. So yeah, I mean these, they got some little bit of rust on these which is kind of transferred over to the canvas a little bit. Um, yeah. Hmm. But yeah, this is uh, many different applications. You know, whether it's like the trailers for the Humvees, um, or whatever but yeah that's uh this thing is pretty heavy duty and I like how it has this stuff stitched into it so that makes it that makes it extra strong and I kind of I mean I I figured that when I saw the the listing um, that it wasn't just you know netting and it had this stuff for I mean, this this really adds a lot of strength to it. But yeah, this is a this is good. I like this. This is this is as good of a quality as I assumed it would be from just looking at it in the ad and knowing it was. I mean, you know, knowing that it's actually like legit military surplus. You know that it's not going, you know, it's not some third party crap that somebody's skimping on the, on the quality of the materials to make more money. You know, I mean, when it comes to military stuff, I mean, we all kind of know um, the companies get paid, they get paid more money than they should for what they do for a lot of the stuff. So there's literally never a reason to, uh, to skip on anything. Um, Red Rooster Engineering. Um, I know what's in here just because of, of what that is. These are for the uh, doors. Okay. This is just for me to blow my nose. That'll work out good. So... And I went onto the website, like I got it off eBay. His website doesn't really have much on it, but, um, you know, shout out to this guy. Let me get this up here. Are you going to focus for me? There we go. Oh, yeah, these are nice. These are solid. Yeah, so these are um, 
Well, the doors, uh, the door catches. Because I'm going to have, you know, regular uh, heavy, heavy duty doors. And, uh, yeah. These are, these are actually excellent quality. So, yeah, shout out to uh, Red Rooster Engineering, LLC. Good job. I think they were maybe $25 or something like that. I mean, it is, you know, totally reasonable. Totally reasonable pricing. Okay, well, this isn't actually technically Humvee stuff, um, but this is part of my bigger Humvee project. This is for bugs. You know, I mean, because when you're out camping, you, you don't want to be getting bit by bugs. Like, that just ruins everybody's time. Um, so it seemed legit, um, low power consumption. It has, uh, UV bolt, UV bulbs that attract the bugs. Um, but it doesn't zap them because that's just more electricity. Now what it does have, which I don't know. I mean, I, eh, electricity wise, well, it is what it is. Um, and I'll let you guys know how, how good this thing works uh, in the future. But um, So it has a little fan down here that sucks the bugs inside, and then they get trapped down here, and then they, and then they just die because they're stuck down there. Um, so yeah, just like in the picture there, the fan sucks them in, and then they get stuck, and then they, then they die. That's to clean the bugs out of the trap. Those are the bulbs. Let me see how I'm doing on time. All right, that doesn't really tell me. There we go. All right, we got a few more minutes. Okay, so this is all plastic. It's all plastic housing. It has bulbs in it, so I guess those are extra bulbs. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's lightweight. Uh, needs to be powered up. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna have um, a DC to AC converter in the vehicle. So if I have to power stuff like this, um, you know, when I'm up in the mountains, um, like that's totally fine. Um, yeah, I mean, so that it is what it is there. That thing is, seems to be pretty nice. Uh, let's see. And the last thing, how much time do I got? I got uh, less than a minute and a half. All right. is of the X. My phone just records 10 minutes because I'm recording it 4K. All right, so this thing is ugly looking, but that's okay, it can be painted. big old air filter and um, the, my Humvee was missing that and I needed one of these so um, you, you can get these new rings so I'm not too worried about that because um, that is kind of rusted and stuff but yeah this is the, uh, the air filter and this is a 